Hey, it's Spence from WPLaunchify.com uh, doing some fun, relaxing work on a Sunday. I like to actually unwind, <laughs> doing some design things. Anyway, working on finishing up a conversion from Elementor to Cadence Blocks, and it came across something that's very interesting. It's an example of how you can mix in one or two little things as necessary in order to achieve your goal without diverting from using the core of what Cadence offers. And here's an example. This is an, uh, one of my clients I was using in the last webinar that's using some uh, rollover blocks from Elementor. And I believe these come through an add-on. Maybe it's happy Elementor add-ons. It doesn't matter. It's a feature that isn't quite yet there in Cadence. I saw that they had it in their wish list, but it's a neat little effect. <clears throat> so here's what I ended up making, which is pretty darn close. And the way I made this was by using one singular add-on, the Flipbox block. And this is free in the WordPress repository. It doesn't have a lot of attention, but it's a really great example of how just a teeny tiny sprinkle of something is all you need. You don't have to add in an entire set of new blocks. In fact, that would be in the worst case scenario. So very small, very light. It's just some jQuery, but here's what it does on the back end. In order to achieve this, I really just stuck to the same methodology I've been using, which is I used a row, put in a section, and then as you can see, I got my heading, heading to, spacer, some text. Here's where the magic comes in with cadence. I go ahead and I put in another row layout so that I can get the three sections. Now, what I ended up doing with each of these sections is I installed the Flipbox uh, component or Gutenberg block, which gives me management over what happens on the front and the back. And you'll also notice that it gives me the ability to add in whatever I want on the front and the back. So let me go more slow. In the first section, the first column, if you will, I put in the flip box uh, component. Here you can see that in the block itself, there's not a lot of controls, just the overall height, which I set to 500. And then I can see the front and the back. When I set it to the front, this is the part that I think is really awesome. It allows you to install any other block within it. So I put another cadence section, which is what I then use to add a background overlay, or I should say background color, which is this blue, right? Really neat. You'll notice on the main section itself is where I put the picture of the girl as a background image. And it's important that you adjust this and scale this so you get a fixed height and width because the section in the front that's part of the flip box, I basically put the padding on that of extra small to give me just that little effect of a set in from the edges. And I also did something that is very easy to do, which was over here, I did the border styles where I put a border radius of 10 pixels. That gives it that nice rounded edge. And then the content inside of that is just basically heading block and subheading block. Now for the back, you go over here to flip box and go to the back side so we can examine that. And I just did basically the same thing, except the section this time doesn't have a color. It's just a solid white. And I did, however, when I adjusted that, I set the slider to 0.87 transparency. So you can just barely see through to the girl underneath. Then of course I use the heading one, heading two, and then I put in a cadence button. And that's it. Now for simplicity, what I did next is I just copied this and duplicated it to the second and the third and just changed the content. And the net result is as you see, which for basically no cost, and the simplicity that brings lets me pretty much use 100% of cadence except for just this one little effect. But rather than writing it as a fixed amount of uh, jQuery and CSS, I have it in the form of a plug and play. So it can be used again and again. And if I were to do what I've been showing you, save this as a pattern, I would now have a reusable pattern, which I'll do here. We'll call it uh, three column flip box. And I'll put this under, what would I put this up? Put this under media, let's just say, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna sync it though. I'm gonna use it so I could use it again and again. And this is the idea from what I do with the WP Launch Kit, is I teach you how to make the best use of what you're doing. Because in this case, if I were to go ahead and make a new page, or if I wanted to even add this at the end of this existing page, I could just simply go to the end, add after, see from my pattern, 
pop it in place and ta-da, I'm good to go. Now I can just modify this to whatever I wanna say because all of the features are there. I just change the content and instead of having to redesign it from scratch, it's very, very fast. This is Spence, I'll see you in the next video.